Hi everyone, this is MD Channel for English. My name is Mazen Diab, and today I have a lesson about pronunciation. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to pronounce the S letter at the end of a word in English. So, as you know, when we add S to the word in English, it could be either a noun, we want to make it plural, or we use it for a verb that we use it with the third person, he, she, it, or the singular noun. So basically, this is a problem for all students. Whenever we need to pronounce a word that ends with S, whether it's a noun or a verb, we feel like we're confused. Is the pronunciation for the S sound or is sound or z sound? It is really confusing, and especially if you are a new learner of English. Sometimes even I know some advanced students they also mispronounce this letter at the end of a word. So in order to clarify this and get rid of this problem in pronunciation, I'm going to teach you today how to pronounce the S letter at the end of a word in English. But at first, I'm going to show you five words that I would like you to pronounce yourself and check if you have any problems with these words. The first word, dance. The second word, help. The third word, travel. The fourth word, put. The fifth word, laugh. I'm gonna give you five seconds to check your pronunciation and if you have any problems. Okay, I guess by now, you are able to differentiate whether the sounds are S, S, or is, or Z sound. If you would like to know the right pronunciation and what are these rules for the pronunciation of the S ending letter in English, then please keep watching. Now here I am, I got back in order to show you how to pronounce each of these words the right way. Now the first word we say dances, dances. The second word helps, helps. The third word travels, travels. The fourth word puts, puts. The fifth word laughs, laughs. As you heard me, the pronunciation is different from one word to another. Now, there are basically three sounds you heard. The first one is, dances. The second one helps, s sound. And the third one travels, the z sound, z, travels. So, I'm going to share with you in this lesson how we can pronounce these uh, words correctly. We have three basic ways to pronounce the S letter at the end of a word in English. Now we have the S sound, the IS sound, and we have the Z, the Z sound. Now I'm going to start with the S sound. So when do we pronounce the S letter as S sound? Now they say, the rule says, when we have a word ends with F sound, K sound, P sound, T sound, or TH voiceless as F sound, we add S sound at the end. Now let me give you some examples to find out how do you pronounce the S sound at the end of these sounds or letters. Now remember that I said sounds, not only letters, because sometimes the F comes as a GH. So we can say laugh, laughs, laughs. We can say cliff as it ends with F letter. So we can say cliffs, cliffs. If we go to the second letter K or the sound K, we say kicks, kicks the football. We can say she likes her mom, likes, likes. If we go to the third letter P, we say jumps, stops. 
If we go to the letter T, we say uh, hats, rights. So hats as a noun and rights as a verb. If we go to the TH voiceless sound, so we say months. And if we have the word meth, we say meths. So we just add S after the TH, the voiceless sound. And that will take me to the next group that we pronounce the S as is, as in sandwiches is wait let's check on the second group sounds or letters that we pronounce the s as is like sandwich sandwiches is now we have these sounds and letters please write them down i'm going to say them one after another c s or double s x z CH as sh, SH as sh, and GE as change, change. And I'm going to give you examples how we can say them with the ending S sound like is. Now I'm going to say one after another. I'm going to give you two examples for each sound. C, races. Nieces, S, nurses, buses, X, fixes, boxes, Z, freezes, quizzes, double S, kisses, passes, CH as tsh, witches, teaches, SH as sh, Dishes, wishes, GE as changes, judges. So these are the sounds come along with S pronounced as is. Now let's go to the third group and check what are the letters. Actually, all the other sounds or all the other letters that we didn't mention so far are the ones we use with Z sound, like Z. So I'm gonna give you some examples so you can remember them. And also we have other examples, but because we have a lot of letters and sounds, I'm not gonna mention them all. You just check them out. We have the words like rubs, rugs, wears, plays, fans, drives, sees, dreams, deals, cards, begs, boys, and so on. So all the other letters that we didn't mention for the first and second groups, we use them with Z sound, Z sound. Finally, and as always, I would like to thank you all for watching this lesson, and I hope that you learned something that could improve your pronunciation for better English. If you liked today's lesson and you learned something out of it, Please share it among your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos.